Thank you very much for the opportunity to ask this question. Um, Dr. Ama with Live Abundantly. As we know, one of the crises in Nigeria is lack of data. When we speak about the SDGs, we know from the report with the UN in 2017 that it was actually identified. So what are your suggestions for creating a data culture in Nigeria so that we can address the SDGs more succinctly? Thank you so much. This question about data is a very good one. Let me, before I come to the SDGs though, just, um, so Dr. Cali came out six weeks ago. He said that uh, GDP grew 2.28% in the third quarter in Nigeria. Well, what does that mean? 60% of the Nigerian economy is informal. Uh, I don't know the relationship between the <laughs> informal economy and the formal economy. Doctor, sorry, I don't want to pick on Dr. Kelly. I love him, but I mean, the uh, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics comes out and says inflation went up 11.91%. I mean, what's the price of rice in Kano? What's the price of rice in Sokoto? What's the price of rice in Enugu? Uh, what's the population of Nigeria? Uh, they said 200 million people, uh, in fact. And I, you know, I don't know, if, is there press here tonight? I don't want to get deported tomorrow, right? So, but the reality is even before we get to the SDG goals, um, we have a problem with data here. And one of the things that we've taken on in 2020, or I've taken on in my various roles, is to start to challenge this more, uh, the inaccuracies of all this data. Because one of the things, maybe people don't understand this, when the World Bank says that Nigeria is growing at 1.9%, when they say our uh, unemployment rate is 20%, all those numbers are coming from the NBS. They're not getting them independently. And all that happens is these become like internet memes where they just get repeated endlessly on that. Our FDI is 2.1 billion. Our population is 201 million, et cetera. So we're not going to make any progress, to be honest, unless we get better data. So it's one thing we're going to start to talk about uh, as, as PwC. Um, uh, and I said I'll try not to get deported. But specifically on the SDGs, um, we're going to have to develop our own framework for it. There's no point in perpetuating the, 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 the lack of accurate data. So the health commissioner of Nago's friend, Dr. Doctor, uh, Doctor, uh, Professor Akin, you know, is fantastic. But if he doesn't have data, we're not doing health in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Lagos State properly. But for the SDGs, there is no, is, even though we've agreed on the SDGs, there's no f measurement framework. So I guess what I'm urging Lego State or perhaps Nigeria to do is maybe we can be the leader in develop, because the SDGs are really for less developed countries, right? I mean, they're not relevant to Norway, they're not relevant to, to, to nations, Sweden, um, but we need them. And can we be the ones that actually develop a framework that goes beyond GDP and we have an accurate way to measure SDGs? But it's a work in progress.